opioid epidemic continues to plague communities across our area. To help slow addiction rates, law enforcement is looking at ways it can provide a helping hand. The Sebastian County Task Force held a virtual opioid summit to address increased overdose rates in the River Valley. 5 News' Tiffany Lee shows us why this issue is so important. There was a time I used to run from the police in the past, and now I work side by side two officers who I learn so much from every day. Just a small part of Vicki Boyd's inspiring recovery story. I will forever be grateful to those who supported me along the way and to every person in our community who believes in who believes in and offers a hand up to people just like me. And to help more people like Vicki, the Sebastian County Opioid Summit had a goal of helping people to learn about and better understand drug abuse. We do have a, an upward trend in our, our all uh, overdose deaths. Um, you know, going up significantly year to year. Dr. Brian Clardy talked about the important signs of an overdose. If their breathing drops off um, and they, you know, they stop breathing or they slow down, that's a concern. Choking or gurgling sounds that lose control of their airway and can aspirate things, start getting limp. Uh, they won't perfuse very well, so their skin will get cold and clammy. And then they can get discolored skin, especially in the lips and nails, just from being hypoxic. Law enforcement, medical professionals, and community members. These are just some of those who participated in the event. They discussed fentanyl, the different types of drug and opioid epidemic, and Narcan, the nasal spray used after an overdose. Sebastian County Sheriff Hobie Runyon talked about the importance of having this session. I think to be able to have this communication and open dialogue is, is, an import, is important, and we're going to keep moving forward. It's important to bring everybody together in a non-offensive environment and be able to, to check our egos at the door and say, hey, let's work together because all of us are after the same goal. We're all, we all want to make either our citizens safer or make them healthier. Covering news where you live, Tiffany Lee, 5 News.